Welcome to Grid Pro Tutorial 9, Periodic Surfaces, Part 1 of 2. Begin by loading tutorial 91.fra. Here we have a turbine blade and two planes. Begin by creating rectangular topology. Insert sheets surrounding the blade. Then group the inner topology and create a wrap around the blade. Assign the innermost topology to the blade. and assign the left and right planes to their respective topology. Now we must create a pseudo-surface to represent the translational periodic boundaries. Load the surface XYZ from the surface menu. Set the period to 2 and the degree to 90. This surface is not visible, but it defines the periodic portion of the topology. You can tell it was created by cycling through the surfaces. For one of them, a surface on the screen will not be highlighted. Periodic surfaces must be assigned differently. Assign points in pairs using the PBC button and clicking pairs of points. Once you have selected both points, press apply to assign them. Once the periodic surfaces have been assigned, generate and load the grid. Once the grid has been generated and loaded, you will see that the top and bottom edges are not perfectly straight. The ability to view multiple periods of a periodic grid in two dimensions are not yet available from the graphical interface. Run the following command from a terminal in the Tutorial 9 directory. This will create a transformation of the current grid translated one period downward. Load the new grid. It is saved as blk.tmp.tmp by default. The two grids will line up on their periodic surface. 